How's it going guys, welcome back to another video, so in this video I'm bringing you guys Race to 100k versus Prime Foot. Now this is going to be episode number 3, I'm sorry we haven't posted this video or this episode in a while, or just like 3-4 days. Reason for that is that Prime's laptop actually broke, so you had to fix it and stuff, which was really sad. So today, both of us uploaded episode number 3, so go out, uh, go over to his channel and check it out as well, definitely subscribe to him. He is an amazing trader, he has over 7,000 subscribers as well, definitely subscribe to him and get him closer to 10 thousand subscribers it would be amazing if you could hit that in a uh, month or something like that that would be crazy uh, but yeah definitely go and subscribe to him great youtuber and that's the one I'm doing this series with so basically um, ju I just decided just to do this live commentary I didn't really find a reason why to do this uh, post commentary because I have the deals here and stuff so I'm just going to go through them all now right now uh, I'm going to uh, yeah going to be going through these players one by one so let's start off here with Murillo this guy got for in shadow for 2700 coins we'll go to look him to sell him out for around 3.7k something like that I'll uh, check that out later this guy is the only or one of the only left forwards in the Bundesliga for under 2,000 coins and I got him for 1,200 coins he was actually the only non-rare that I found so I'm going to try to list him out for a little bit over 2,000 coins hoping that he will sell during 12 hours now this Allen here was a great deal he goes for 1.6k in a CAM I traded him I trade with him almost every single day great he him and Henderson are great to trade with and I picked up a Allen in CAM in in the 59th minute for 700 and se or 750 coins and I got this Allen in CIM as well for 550 coins and they sell for around 1.6k so that was two great deals right there the next one is this Nagby right here 1.4k right forward from the MLS this guy isn't actually a right forward as usual he's like a right wing or something so that's a great deal there so I'm going to look to try to sell him out for around 2.5k making a little bit over 1k profit now this guy as well was a really good deal going to try to sell him out for 3.5k one of the only uh, catalyst ones in the Serie A great player there looks really decent as well. This Janini, however, is absolutely crazy deal 2.4k. I'm going to try to sell him on for a little bit over 4,000 coins. This guy was a crazy deal. Amazing player Janino is an amazing player in a catalyst as well, which makes it a lot better. And yeah, it's in the MLS CM great deal right there. This is here is the only left forward, or he's like I can just show it to you guys here. It's really difficult to explain actually. Uh, we'll go to Susie right here. No, actually, we'll just go. Um, we'll just go left forward from the MLS, and I'm going to show you guys um, the um, the silver ones right here. And yeah, as you can see right here, basically, you can see that we do only have Castillos right here on the market. We only have Castillos to be there for 4.2k. So that was the only one other than the Castillo on the market. I got him for like 1.5k, which was a great deal. We're going to try to sell him for around 3,000 coins. This IBR was a great deal as well. Looking to try to sell him for a little bit. Uh, yeah, around 3,500 coins. Great deal there. Sells in left forward for around 3.5k. And this Martin there was an alright deal. I can try to sell him for 1.6k, making at least a little bit of coins. But yeah, that was just an alright deal. I just have to pick one more player up just to uh, just to spend all my coins. So yeah, that was the final deal. So basically, I'm going to list up all of these ones right now. So what we're going to do now is that I'm just going to, going to list them up for uh, around what I think they will sell for during these 12 hours there. Um, I'm going to undercut a few players, so I'll not list them out for that much because I really wanted to sell pretty quickly. So I'm just going to be listing these ones up. For example, this one I'm only I'll list them out for 1.5k. This is not bad. I'll list them out for around 2.4k right there. Undercutting them a little bit, as you can see here. These uh, this is a very good trading technique. If you just undercut, for example, 3.5k, you do just do 3.4k, and they will sell a lot easier. Even though, for example, if you go 3k. Don't do that. Go 2.9k. Versus a lot better. It will seem like they're a lot cheaper. Now I'm going to try to sell this Janine for 3.9k. That should make me some great coins there. This Susie I'm going to try to sell for, on for around 2.7k. That should bring me some great profit there. And this I will sell for 3.6k. Uh, just to make over that 1,000 coins profit. And this time I'll actually sell for 1.6k. I know he will sell on pretty quickly. Or at least I know he will sell. Now this isn't the best of deals. I'll sell him on for 1.6k. But as a normal right deals, I'm looking to... Have around 25k after these players have sold. Say, so, guys, I will be back uh, probably tomorrow for me, but in a second for you guys if these players have sold. And yeah, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> 